Well, let's have a look at what we're going to make and then you can decide whether you want to watch the rest of this video. Here in the bottom right we have um, a tab bar controller with three tabs, the two in red and the third one is actually a navigation controller with its own push views here. The last one is actually a modal view which is a kind of dead end. Well, looks a bit complicated so let's look on the iPhone as to uh, what's happening here. It says item 1 is refers to the tab, item 2 is that other tab and if we go to the third tab we're in the navigation controller. Now we're going to push from this first view to the second view, there we go, which is that one in the middle there. If we push again we get to this. Now on this light green one we can go right the way backwards through the stack, let's do that, to the first one and let's go forwards again. Now from the modal we go from the light green to the blue and I'm using a modal type of connection here. Now you watch what happens to the one the navigation bar at the top and secondly the tab controller at the bottom. See the navigation bar at the top's gone and so is the tab bar at the bottom. Now I can get back to the green because I put another modal connection going from blue to green. Push wouldn't work here because I haven't got any navigation stack to take me back. So I have to use a modal and I'm back in the green. But now the push doesn't work at all because I've lost my uh, navigation controller. The modal's still okay and go back from one to the other. Interestingly, well, I don't know if it's interesting, but if we close it and open it again, we go back to the same view. And uh, in this case, I would be uh, stuck. I wouldn't be able to get back to my original uh, views down here. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to build up this uh, structure here and I'm going to start with an empty project and build the whole lot up right from scratch. So I hope it's useful to you. See you in a minute.